All right, so exam two, let's solve this question one in C++. Well, we're receiving four parameters, x1, y1, representing a point, x2, y2, representing another point in space, Cartesian coordinates, and we're going to calculate the distance between those two and return that from the function called distancia. Doesn't tell me what the type of the values are, so we'll just uh, make it up. I'll go with double. Okay, so we start our file. I already say this is exam1.cpp, so we should include iostream because I'm going to do some printing so I can check. I'm going to do using namespace std, which is really not great for production code, but we're not producing production code in this class. Return zero. Okay, so this is our standard C++ uh, template. Some of you were struggling with this during an exam where you didn't have access to your previous assignments or Google or other um, tools. And uh, it's partially because you tend to copy paste this from your previous code. If you always have to type this, then you're not going to have the problems of not remembering what it looks like. So let's go back up and do what the actual exam question says. We've got to have a function called distancia, yeah, and it has four parameters, x1, y1, x2, y2, representing the points. Now in C++, we need to uh, give those types, right? So I'll put the types on all of these, and we will open the parentheses brackets, and we said it must return a value, right? So let's have it return a double as well. Let's make this code work and uh, actual compile. Since it says it's going to return a double, we'll return a double. Let's use 42 because it's a good number. Well, let's check that it compiles. Cool, still compiling. That's good. Okay, so if we wanted to test this function, we should probably write the test before we write the code. So let's calculate a distance that we already know. So if we calculate the distance of you know the classic triangle with one side's three, one side's four with a right angle, then the other side's gonna be five, right? So let's calculate the distance between zero, zero, and 3.0, 4.0. I calculate that distance, and then I'm going to print it out to the screen. I'll save that if I compile it now, and then I run it, it says 42. Oh, because it always says 42, so we should probably fix that. So we're going to need to calculate the one side of the triangle, the other side of the triangle, which is the delta y's and the delta x's, and then we square each of those, we sum them, we take the square root. So let's do this in steps. Let's get the, um, the delta x, which would be x2 minus x1. And then we get the delta y, which would be y2 minus y1. And then we should square them and take the square root. I'm going to do that all in one calculation. So let's take the squirt of huh, dx squared. Is it pow? Uh, let's just say dx times dx because that works too, right? That way I'm in an exam. I can't remember how to use pow. Just do it the quick way. Um, so that should work, right? I get the D, it's a square root of the, uh, go for it. Let's see if it compiles. It doesn't compile. Why is it comp oh, double D was not declared? Oh yeah, I forgot that. I gotta say, okay, I have a double value, which is D, which represents the distance. I'll call that the dist, not using one variable. So the double dist is squirt of DX, DX, DY, DY. And now it's complaining, oh, it did complain that. I should have seen that before. It doesn't know what squirt is because we need to include our math library, right? So let's include C math. Remember in C++ we use C math, whereas in C we do math.c. So we'll save that again. We'll compile, woohoo, it compiles, and we try to run our program, and it printed 42, but I wanted five. Oh, it's because we're still returning 42. Let's return the dist value. 
let's check and we'll compile and we'll run and it prints five I could test more but that's good for now on to the next